Hey everyone, Jessica Sanders here. Hello, how are you? So I've been experimenting with doing some live streaming videos and I thought today I'll pop in and do a little art demo for you, a, sort of a tutorial and chat with you and see how you're doing and trying out and testing out this live stream. So I am currently live streaming on YouTube and in my on my Facebook business page, Komi Creative Art page. And yeah, so I'd love for you to say hello in the comments as you pop in. Because I'm just going to paint and see how this works and share with you a little. So in my classroom, my latest class is Rainbows and Lines. And you know, uh, we're exploring the elements of art and we're exploring rainbows as a theme this month of October. And that might seem a little strange, but it fit the idea of the elements of art so well that I wanted to use that theme. And so I've done some little painting demos in the classroom. These are from the class itself. And I did a demo for my membership group of using some autumn colors and rainbows. And so I thought I would do that here too, because it's, it's, it's fall, right? It's fall and we're getting those colors, at least here in the U.S. it's fall and we're getting those lovely, vibrant fall colors getting started. Well, not here in Texas, but I'm wishing, right? <laughs> so anyway, I have created sort of this fall palette of colors from my Mission Goldwater colors, which has a variety of fall colors plus a blue. So I've got a sap and olive green mix here, lemon yellow yellow ochre, a light red, permanent red. I'm not using the vermilion. I felt like it was just too, I don't know, it was too bright for what I was going for. I wanted a more earthy feel and I felt like the light red is a better option for like an orangey red color. Burnt sienna I may or may not use and cerulean blue. So all of these are from my Mission Gold palette. Hello, how are you? Say hello if you can hear me in the comments. Happy you're here. So these are all from the Mission Gold palette and they're fun to paint with. So I'm just going to paint rainbows and add some lines and have some fun with it. And with this color palette. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. I also have this paint color that I just got from Daniel Smith called, it's called Dual Chrome Lapis Sunlight. And maybe I got it because I like the name so much, but it's a metallic color. So I squeeze some out of the tube there. It looks white, but it'll look, have a little bit of a blue, green, and metallic tint to it. And you know, I love to add metallics to my paints, paintings. So yeah, yeah. All right. So let's get to painting. I am not going to delay anymore. And I'll start with that light red make a juicy mixture that's an earthy tone so like if you were painting fall leaves this is a great color you might want to use this color and let me just make a rainbow shape here so these are really simple the idea is very simple you're making just a series of lines and playing with your watercolors and the lines can be thin or thick and your rainbow shape can vary it can be like this elongated rainbow like I'm making right now or it could be a, a more arched kind of rainbow so totally up to you how you wanted to paint it and I'm just doing more than one on the page because I think that's fun and I'm repeating some of the same colors so I'll pick up that yellow ochre there we go how are you today? Welcome, welcome. And trying to make sure I have enough paint and water to make my line. And I'm repeating the colors over in other areas. So the idea is that the the idea <laughs> the idea is rainbows and lines that's what the idea is but it's really simple painting and it's a lot of fun i think we're getting into that busy time of the year and it's going to get more and more busy 
things are going to be a little hectic for us. Well, I mean, let's face it, things have been hectic for us this year, this whole year. And we need to paint and relax because creative time can be so helpful to you and really, you know, improve your mental health, improve your state of being and your state of mind. And painting something simple with no pressure, well, that's even better. So let me make a little some swatches of the colors I'm using here. I haven't done that yet. Of the colors I've used so far. That's why I have this taped off so I can swatch it. So I have an entire class about rainbows and lines. And we talk about the element of art lying in that class. And I demonstrate some rainbow and line paintings for you in that class. So if you want to head over to my classroom, go to coloredmadecreativeart.com and to the classroom if you want to check it out. It's a lot of fun. And yeah, it's pretty exciting. And you know, I'm using, realized that I think I'm using the back. Yep, I'm using the back of this paper. It doesn't matter. This is B watercolor paper. It's 100% cotton, but the texture is slightly different on the back. I want to get a deeper, darker color of that red. I want it to be more vibrant, and I'm going to put it right over the other one. But I'm not going to cover it all the way up, and I'm not going to worry about softening those lines or anything like that. And then let's go for that cerulean blue. Oh, I picked up some purple. You know what? A purpley red is a good fall color, isn't it? I didn't think about that. So now I'm improvising my color. Yep, 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 I am. Like a red violet here. I remember seeing that when I was visiting New England. I went to Maine and just gorgeous, gorgeous colors. So I'm just going to go for this line of red violet. That's a lot of fun. I'm also using a different paintbrush today than I normally use. Trying this one out, kind of getting used to it because my current little paintbrush is, well, kaput. I need a new one and this is the new one that I have so we'll just see what happens. I'm going to add water in there. What I'm noticing since I'm working on the back of this watercolor paper is that it's acting more like a hot press on this back side than than a cold press paper, which is fine. Just something to know, right? Well, thank you for that thumbs up. Hello, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Okay, I was going for this really in blue and I ended up with purple and I liked it. So I went with it. So let's go ahead and get some cerulean going in the palette there. Very watery. There we go. All right, and let's do sort of some sky because, you know, why not? Just painting in the background and I'm leaving white space. I'm leaving that white between this sky or background. If you want to call it sky, you can. If you just want to call it a background, you can. So leaving, leaving a little white space between the rainbow and this. And then I'll just scrub that around so I get some unevenness. I don't want it to be a flat wash. I want it to be uneven. Nice texture. And then carefully here, continue. And I like these nice smooth lines on the edges, so I'll do that as well. And I don't want that leading edge there to dry because I don't want any hard lines. So just flipping this around because I can. I'm the boss of my art. You're the boss of your art. Don't let anyone tell you any different. I actually learned that from Dina Wakely. She's so amazing. She's so fun. And she's really smart. <laughs> All right. Be the boss of your, your art. Don't let other people be the boss of your art. So I'm continuing to just paint in those areas, the background area for fun. And in fact, I think I will go ahead and paint in a 
sky area there. Oh, picked up a little bit of yellow. Got some green in there. That's okay. How are you today? It's Friday. Hooray. I'm excited that it's Friday. You know what? This is like a little window. Because it's darker on that side. I'm going to soften that and let it have that window effect. <laughs> I like it. Intuitive art, right? We need to change it up as we go. And then this way. Adding water, soften all that up and let it flow. I want it pretty soft. I don't know. It seems like the sky in the fall is fairly soft color of blue and not really super vibrant. At least that's the way it is where I live. Maybe your sky is different where you live. Hello, welcome. Let me know how you're doing today. Let me know if you have any questions or comments too. I'll be happy to answer any questions if I can. That's pretty fun. I feel like this is like the window to your soul or something. It's just, <laughs> that's just fun. Okay, I'm gonna switch birch brushes. Birches. This is not a birch. I painted lots of birch trees, but this is not one of them, right? <laughs> switch brushes to a rigger. And I have not yet used my Daniel Smith Duochrome Lapis Sunlight. I, I may have bought that just for the name. No kidding. But I do love metallics and it's a metallic kind of color. Okay, I'll go back to that light red, which looks very vibrant orange. And I'm just going to start adding some thinner, finer lines. And I don't want them to be perfect by any stretch of the imagination. I just want to play. Let's just play. Play with these rainbows. Play with these lines. And just see what happens and see where it takes you. Here. I am trying to be careful not to touch into that blue, which is wet. I could have put some salt in there. That would have been fun, right? All right, so experimenting is fun, right? That's that's all this is. This is an experiment for doing a, a Facebook and YouTube live simultaneously. I should be able to see your comments from both. Let me just do, I, I had fun doing like a, extra rainbow shapes. So like say there's a rainbow here and it goes these thin lines go straight over that background with these different colors with thin lines. And of course you get a different effect that way. So keep that in mind just there's some rainbowy things going on here <laughs> all right so what do i want to do now the colors are interesting they're a little different because like i said i'm using the back of this paper it's more like a hot press paper and just has a different look and feel to it it's very interesting All right, let me add some different kinds of lines. So let's add some like dashed lines, still lines, still incorporating lines into the rainbow theme, right? But they're a little different than the others. That's pretty fun. Thanks for popping in and saying hello. I hope you're having a great Friday. I'm repeating the elements on the different rainbows so that I have some nice continuity in my painting. And then let's do, one thing I did in my other one was I made some wide lines with the rigor brush. So I just did something like that. 
and that color behind it's going to show through. It's watercolor, right? It's transparent. That's okay. I could do the same with the yellow ochre. Pick up a little bit of that and do something similar. So it's like confetti or, can you hear my dog? <laughs> Or maybe it's like leaves blowing in the wind. Kind of like that idea. Right? Okay. Now it's time for this lapis sunlight. I need a, a little bigger brush here. Because I kind of was drying while I was talking. Look at this. So you can see the different colors in here, and you may be able to hear my dog. She decided to come to visit. Hello, doggy. You can see the different bluey color in there, the bluey green color. I guess that's the lapis part. And it sort of has a golden glow. Maybe that's the sunlight part. Okay. And let's paint some rainbows right on our paper. <laughs> that is fun. That is really fun. I'm just going over where I've gone before. I'm not worried about it. Maybe drop a little metallic in some of these. That could be interesting. Oh, you can really see the, you really see it that way where it's wet. Let's see if you can see that. That metallic in there. It's a contrasting color, right? The orange and the sort of blue green, they're contrasting colors. So it shows up more there. That is cool. Let's make our sky rainbow have some metallic. So this won't show up very well maybe on camera or in pictures, but I think I can tilt it and you can see the difference. Yeah. Hello, how are you? You doing okay? Right, so that's pretty fun. Let's do thinner lines now with the rigger brush. I love the rigger brush. It's so fun. Here in our little tiny line rainbow and on top of our other rainbow and maybe some swirly bits in the sky. The wind is blowing. It's fall, right? Does it get windy where you are in the fall? Right now for us, it's still pretty summery. I mean, today is nice and cool, but that's an exception. It's not how it normally is it won't really get very cool until like November and then even then it's not really super cool right I don't have any green in this I need some green guys let's do some green well I have that sap green but it's not not what I want it's not that mix right I want something a little more vibrant so let's do that here. Not worried about overlapping. I hope the comments are working and that I can see if you made comments. This little rainbow is kind of being quiet over there. All right. So that is pretty fun. Now I would go back and add some lines, maybe with a paint pen. Getting close to the end of this. Getting closer to the end. So I'll go back and add some lines in, say these leafy shapes, but they're not completely dry. So I have to be careful there. Now it looks kind of leafy, right? You just add those lines and it looks like a, a leaf shape. <laughs> Your brain goes, oh, I think that could be a leaf, right? Flying through the air. So that's pretty fun, I think. 
So just small little lines like that can give you the idea that it's a leaf, right? Pretty fun. And then I can add more lines. I just need to be careful not to, let me, let me not add that kind of line. Let me add a wavy line. There we go, wavy. So this is just for fun, you know, just play, have fun, enjoy the painting process. Play with lines. They can be as loose or expressive or fun as you want. You can play with the rainbow shape, which I think is a lot of fun. I'm going to make some swirly bits here. Also kind of covering over that metallic. And even here in my window to the soul kind of thing. I don't know why. That's what it makes me think of. Skipping those spaces. Make sure. Sorry, you couldn't see there. Sorry about that. Skipping those spaces there. These are really big swirls, aren't they? But they're fun to do. I could even put some lines inside. That could be kind of fun. So you can use all kinds of lines, dots. You can use words. Like I would probably write on here. I write. I would write with black, I think. I think I'll use the paint pen. And some of this is still wet, so I have to be careful. I like the idea of window to my soul, so I would write that. So just write. And this is an implied line made by the words. So you can really incorporate line in a lot of different ways. And I'm not a calligrapher. This is just me writing, right? An art journaler. I'm trying to be careful to <laughs> make it legible, but you know, you don't have to do it that way. It's just the way I'm doing it. That's pretty fun. And maybe even some little dashes here, black. I want that leafy shape to be in the front. So, hello, hello, how are you? This little rainbow is a little bit neglected, <laughs> but I don't want it to stand out too much, right? Go back to this white, add some little leaf things. I don't know, it reminds me of leaves. All right, window to my soul. Now you could do more with this, but I'm pretty happy with it. Good morning, Amber. How are you? You really enjoy mark making and doodling? It really is a lot of fun, isn't it? I really enjoy it too. Yeah, and just add something. I feel like it adds something to the watercolor that you can't get other ways sometimes so it's fun it's fun of course the doodling that I did this kind of they kind of almost they're not like super prominent but you know it works it still works let me take off this little piece of tape for this edge One of the ways that I actually learned to do shading was through doing Zentangles and that kind of doodles because I learned so much about shading in that. And I still use that. I still use that idea. And I still love doodling too. Okay, guys, what do you think? Not a bad little rainbow. With some leafy shapes, sort of a fall rainbow. I got maybe a little more away from the colors I originally planned because these were so the color palette originally, but I added 
the purple, the red violet to it. So I got away from that a little bit, but that's okay. That's fun. All right. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to wrap this up now. Let me know if you enjoy the live streams and if you enjoy this kind of video format, and I hope that we can chat more as we go. All right. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you really soon. Bye.